to you about the power of praise and what God can do when you lift up your hands and worship Him. Now, if you know, I, I want to share on prayer because prayer and praise go together. They go hand in hand. And uh, there, are, there are some topics that I wanted to address in a prayer conference, but we did not have the time. So I was going to preach on one of those messages. And on my way to church, the Lord told me to change the sermon. So I have changed the sermon tonight. Tonight I will, I will preach on Chepe's prayer. The Tatalo Yapesa. I cannot remember how many years ago no It's been a long time. And I've incorporated this prayer into my prayers. As you have heard me pray for the the four parts prayer of Chapas has become my prayer. Because I know that this is one of the most powerful prayer. Please understand that in the Bible. All I record daily tell you to in our prayers as essay. And the reason why I have decided to incorporate this prayer into my prayer life is because I know that this prayer was so effective. It's, uh, it's only two verses prayer. Only two verses in the Bible. In fact, the prayer was actually in one verse. But the Bible says that God granted the prayer. And so... If this prayer was just few sentences and the Lord God granted the prayer, then I think something is amazing about this prayer. And I know that we record for the Talolea so that for us to understand how we can tap into the blessing of God. Prayer is one of the most powerful things that any Christian can do. If you fail to pray, you fail everywhere. So let the talo la lea yapesa. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Let's read to verse 9 to 11, I think. But verse 9 to 10. If I tell my ear, was sitting for Mano Yapesi. See if I'm a mole alone, see if I tell my yard for you more, more. I mean, ah, if I tell my yard for you more, more. So I will normally talk for my mole. I just want you to to have a look at it. El Fangol, the Talola, yeah. Or Tari or Yuta, or Farisa, or Esarona, Macarame, Macarame, Mahuro, Masovala, Nafa, nowhere, yaya, Leatali, your sovala. O yata, na fa na we yata, o a o a umi, malata, o a inga yo sa sora a, o ila tonei, malita ma o etama, o isere elu, ma isema, ma ita pasa, o le ngofo yolo la to to afine, o ase le poni. Yeah, you will see that, you will see that the chapter is talking about the genealogy of Judah. Yeah, it's it's about the genealogy of Judah, and then you'll come to verse nine. Was sitting my mano ya pesa yo no so. Na fang of foil on tina ya te ya pesa, wa fa pea, wa ofa na wa oya maliti na. So let the talo la ya pesa, I I tilo tilo yai. Say if I come and fight you push full cassi. And then then I will. Na fa na wa ka lupole uso sua, o me kira, o let the maia o esetono. And so uh, the genealogy continues. Now what really intrigues about the chapter. Is that you will find all that know the genealogy of Judah. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of the chapter, the genealogy stopped and the prayer was actually given in just two verses. So let me learn Matuai Katsha Yala of Itaul Mata Upu Levapia. It's amazing. It really is amazing how because you know if you if you if you study uh, literature, literature, you will find that the genre of the book was rather different. 
it was talking about the genealogy of Jesus, and all of a sudden, it stopped in the middle. I said, Well, no, my cacalo now. If you understand literature, this is a very funny genre of this book. In most books, if, if a chapter is talking about a topic or a theme or a theological theme, it apparently sort of, the whole chapter is devoted to a theological theme. But this chapter was rather different. So let me share a little bit. This is amazing. What he was going through. Now, the name Chabes means pain. So his mother named him, called him pain, because when, he, when she gave birth to him, but uh, the mother called him Pain, so his name was Pain. So every time everybody, anybody called Chapis, it means pain. Not pain in the neck, <laughs> but pain. Or pain. So if you, if you understand it, 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 it seems to me that that, uh, that, uh, that the Bible was saying this man was locked in his past. Okay, lawyer, I am a teen ass, I am a fighting war, or you teen ass, because his mother called him pain. So it seems to me that he was locked in the past. He wanted to be free, but he was locked in the past. And then he turned to God in prayer. As a Christian and as a citizen of the kingdom of God, your past has no control over your future. And we, when you can go from wherever you came from into the most amazing future. Now, obviously, or Utah, or Langa for Utah, if you understand, or Kangaka Umang Fanga Umaya Upper Amo, they are included in the Abrahamic covenant. So Jabez was also included in the government of Abraham. But because of pain, that was almost like a curse over his life. Amen. Amen. Go fuga go my story. Then to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have a story, but I'm not gonna tell you my story. <laughs> I have a story, but I won't tell you my story. Most people, they have their stories and they are actually locked in their story. They just cannot find way out. Because they are locked in their story. So their past becomes their story and they are locked in their past. Hallelujah, Lord. Your un unfortunate present does not have to control the kind of future you want to have. As a Christian, God is in control. I can control. How? By tapping into what God has for my life. Whatever happens yesterday, that was the doing of the devil. Hallelujah, Lord. What happens today, being a born again Christian, I can tap into the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. So let's have a look at the, story, the, the prayer. This was an, according to the Bible, he was an obscure man. So, in other words, nobody knew about him. 
His family history has been erased from the history of Israel. There was no mention in the Bible or the Pesa. Even though his past was rather nasty, he was still an honorable man. He was more I come from the family of 22 children. <laughs> Amen. I come from the family of 22 children. Most of my brothers are doing tattooing. Uh, and uh, I decided I was not going to follow that. Hallelujah, Lord. Finding Jesus and having Jesus in your life will make you different. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm different because of Jesus. If I did not find Jesus, okay, Now, Jabez was different in his uh, brothers. In his family, he was, real, he was rather different. <coughs> Hallelujah, Lord. Chapez was locked in the past. He had no future, no hope, no tomorrow. He turned to God in prayer. And this is the most incredible thing about this prayer. There were only four parts prayer. One sentence, four parts prayer. Makua simple we don't have to we don't have to come up with all the difficult words kakalo was amo let why wa mama o mama wa lunga le mete fio ai se kakalo la kama wa ya kama sa o o ko isi kakalo mo ko ha u fa lunga ko so le o ka se mama o ke le ma mala mal ke lo isi u if you read this prayer, one of the most simplest prayers. You don't have to be very difficult. Just a very simple prayer. For part where he said, bless me, enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me away from evil. Let me just enlarge a little bit. Let me just help you understand what his prayer was about. Number one, my pushe fulung I for my Chapis prayed that the Lord's blessing will come upon his life. Now, Jabez knew that the blessing of God will completely change everything in his life. God's blessing will move you from pain to pain free. God's blessing will move you from sorrow to joy. God's blessing will move you from sickness to health. God's blessing will move you from prosperity or from poverty to prosperity. God's blessing will move you from bondage to freedom. God's blessing will remove the past and set you on higher grounds. God's blessing will set your feet on solid ground. When God's blessing is operated in your life, no demon from hell could ever mess around with you. So when he said, Lord bless me. Pauwa ngali fa yupunga na tawe 
alfa manu yang ale tuwa afa manguia oile tuwa ele ai maseke mongi se oli ma fainga ko e mess around ma oil ole ko kele la kan e mo mo la to talo lord bless my auntie lord bless my dad lord bless my mom lord bless lord bless e u manga fa manguia u ma sika nga ka but him or her o ina fa to lord Fa mai Yesu ya ya lo fa le lo tu tua o ye peya o o ye lava ya tu o e lo fa mai Yesu ya si di lo lo fa lo kwa no no fa mai ya kukusa le lo lo fa lo kwa i ma lo lo fa lava ya tu o there are so many people that don't love themselves. Come on, turn to your neighbor and say, "Love yourself, neighbor." Menga ya le nga ba isi kanga te ya so extravagant. Wo o ma mai vali o le fa lo lo nga vali vali ai. Wa uma kaukalinga la pupo nga fa pipi. Ya wa uma nga fa uma isi kwa nga fa nga nga ia fa pe nga nga e fa aulele ya. Okay le fa ya kwele nga le mel nga. Hallelujah Lord. But please do it because you just want to do it but don't do it because you're not happy with you. Be happy with you. Ava fonga malale ele menga ke suia le tangata o le blessing ale tu. Pole alo au le anga a bless o le kuwa makwa e abuleleya. Awa ke alo su e me vali vali ya alo su e yesu. Awa afa munguia le kuwa ya ke o e. Ele ai se vali vali o le ngai lolo langi kukusa malo au le. Ai pole ale au le le mo foringa ya bio vale makwa e au le anga. Don't go after the things of the world. Go look for the blessing of God. Look for the blessing of God for your life. Hallelujah, Lord. Afa manguia o ele kuwa o le makua e auleleya. Okay, Lord, I'm going to go to Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, I'll walk you get a little bit of water here. Ao isi kanga kwa le fa la kusulu ai wa uma wa uma fa kau wa ya ukeunga ele manguia lo lo mai la umenga fa ya manguia lo lo mai lo sa ili manguia ole akua look for the blessing of God because that will change your life fa kanga kwa kwa fa malo ole blessing ke manguia ele ele ole vali vali Ya le la pena kinga inga ngai kinga le ai vai oto o pe o ko vali vali a u al pole fu al ngabea le o le o ke fa ya ku a u al fa mo mo al vali vali e le o le vali vali ke a u le le yai o yesu o mangui o le tu e ke ma e ke a u le le yai e le o le vali vali ta ko vali vali o no vali vali a a e fa mangui a le ku ya ke o le maku a e standing lava and to your neighbor say neighbor you are standing. But you know what standing is. Ah, fa manguia o ele a cua ele a isso se me anga que coi poloca. Na ilo ele a ele a pesa. O le me ele me faio na suia lona olanga malona numa na o le manguia o le a tua. Awa ke ale kuli kuli me ale lalolangi ale kuli manguia ole aku a manguia o ele aku a se ke va ye pei ole ale o mai o mea Amen Ba ngolo no lu ol talo ya pesa He said enlarge my territory Now <clears throat> in enlarging his territory means that he was asking God to give him the ability to influence the ability to impact this is what i know ono fono fono se aso mo mo ba ba ai ola le me wa se se ai ya e tu ai nga tai tai why is that william was so influential 
There is nobody else like him. I look at Vidyamu and I'm thinking, this man has got a massive influence. Amen? Along ability and my impact I can Hallelujah, Lord. So I decided to pray about it. I decided, I said, Lord, I, I want I I want to I want to have a, a massive influence. I want to make my impact. I don't want my life just to be a, a passing shadow. I'm here today, I'm gone tomorrow, and then nothing else. I want to make my impact. I want to influence my generation. Whatever I can do in this generation, I want to influence my generation before I can go and be with the Lord. If I hear about the Talo life up here, Lord, show me the true level of my influence. Let me see my weaknesses so I may submit my weaknesses for your grace. Strengthen me so I can serve you better in leadership. And teach me to be sought to others, not to benefit myself, but to add value to others. And above all, help me to put my family first when it comes to leadership. And let me start my influence by modeling a faithful life. That has become my prayers over the last many years. I said, Lord, I don't want to just be here for nothing. I want to make my impact. Let me honestly tell you, please don't live your life just like a passing shadow. Amen? Amen. I wait and then, <laughs> and that's it. Let not just be another history. Be somebody that will make an impact in your generation. God gave you life to make your impact, to bless somebody, to influence somebody for the kingdom. So Jabez, his prayer was in line with the will of God. He said, God, I don't want to just be another Jabez here on earth. I want to make my impact. I want to influence as many people as I can possibly can. Pray that the Lord will give you the ability to influence territories. To impact people with the message of God. I will look for opportunities. Whatever opportunities that opens up, hallelujah, Lord, I will grab it with two hands. I saw the opportunity to be a Christian, I grab it with two hands because I know that will be an amazing future. I saw the opportunity to start a church, I started it because I did not want just a passing shadow here on earth. The ability to bring God into territories is amazing. The impact you could make for the purpose of the kingdom of God is absolutely amazing. Noah, in his life, impacted his generation. It's, it's still speaking to us today. Abraham impacted his generation and it's still speaking to us today. Now, Abraham make his impact in his generation. And for all the generation following, let me say this. Impact, you have influenced other people for the kingdom. You don't just live your life. You live your life for a purpose. Please just don't live your life. Give your life to something.
Look, I tell you, this is what most people do. They come to church, they warm the chair, they go home. They come another Sunday, they warm the chair, they go home. They turn 20, they warm the chair, they go home. They turn 25, they warm the chair, they go home. They turn 30, they just warm the chair and they go home. They turn 50 and they die. I don't know where they go. Do something for the kingdom. When you ask the Lord, give me the ability to impact, the Lord will honor if the Lord knows that that will actually bring a blessing to many other people. And please don't just warm the chair. Make your impact. Make your impact. Don't just warm the chair. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, please don't just warm your chair. Go for Kako, Malemera Vala, Aule, Kuas, Kako, Kyo, Maya Fai. Or if I love a lave, Kele, Inkalesi, the Melanga. But let me honestly tell you. When Jabez asked for the influence or the enlargement of his territory, he was saying, God, give me the ability to impact. I was following my father. I all increase the to allow territory. You will go beyond the borders of your home. Amen. You will impact somebody else. And then that somebody else will impact somebody else. How I came to the Lord. Tavale received the Lord Jesus. Then through Tavale impacted William. And Leuli and Samoa. And those people came to the nurse's home when I was doing my nursing training. And they preached the gospel for three years. We were sitting there in the, at the nurse's home while we were looking. On. And then for three years, I gave my life to the Lord. And so those people impacted my life. They inspired me. And hopefully I have inspired somebody. Let's not stop there. Go and impact somebody else. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> I'm so happy to be working with uh, some of the pastors that came out of this church. And I'm thinking, this is, this is wonderful to see them. Come on, people. And to your neighbor, say, neighbor, please do something. Don't just warm the chair. Number three part of the prayer, he said, that your hand will be on me, or that your hand will be with me. Now, Chapis asked for the presence of God in his life. He was saying, God, I'm asking for your presence. Amen. Amen. Let your hand be with me. Jabez asked for the presence of God in his life. Now for Jabez, for Jabez God's presence will change his situation. Or the presence of God will change his situation. Kako situations. God's presence will change the things around you. I come over and I get some little cool here. Have you okay? Let your mouth be on. I cup you your coffee. Hallelujah, Lord. Let it not for ill. Lord, to allow it not for foul. Be allowed to put your own taffa. You all fall. 
Lift up your hands and worship God. Hallelujah, Lord. When the presence of God comes to you, or when you are in the presence of God, it will change things around you. God's presence took chosen from the pit to the palace. All the presence only a kuanga ki amaya the promotion there ki God's presence gave uh, Samson an unusual power to kill one thousand soldiers with a donkey jaw. God's presence saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God's presence gave the apostles the power to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. Ole presence ole akua and Makwai completely changed the person for who you are. If Allah means our presence ole atua number one, the presence of God will give you power. Hallelujah, Lord. God's presence gives you power to do the impossible. Number two, God's presence will give you peace, it allows you to rest well. Presence gives you peace. I'm more important than my feeling. Move. It's a little more better than my lungs at the tweet tweet. Well, don't know if you're saying, I know, cool, like a cow, so old, quick, quick, boy, you put tweet tweet. Tell I'm a more cock, I listen to feel them. It ain't more important. All the presence only at two hundred and two hundred and three feet of the feet of the moon. Number three, God's presence will give you the provision. God's presence gives you the power to acquire the necessities of life. I hear the presence only at two hundred and two hundred provision. I let you know. I'll be like a man. I'll be like a man. presence. I'll be like a man. I'll be like a man. I'll be like a man. Number four, the presence of God will give you the protection from all dangers. All the presence only a kuanga ke pui pui ina oil. My se fala vela ve ono tupu ya te oil. E kele la me ma fa yonga ma ile presence only a kuwa. So when Chief is praying, let your hand be resting on me. He was saying, Lord, if I have your presence, I have everything. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And then the last part of the man for was full. Well, I want to your pesa ile to our Israel. Wa fa pe atu. If ye man wiya uya te oi, ma fa law tele ina lo law ile ile, ye ya te o foilo wa ao, ma ye ile o le ma ya te o ile lenga, ina ne itinga ina na vatu ile to ya te ya le me na ya fa to wa. Of his prayer he said, Lord, protect me from evil. Or protect me from all dangers. Now, Jabez's desire was not to cause anybody's pain. He wanted to be a blessing to anyone. And so God gave him the four amazing things. One night, I said, I'm going to go to the house. 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 So this is a very simple prayer. Ah, le tali na tali maile atu. E kasi ya le vese le fa makala ili kakalo atu ane. Ah, if I may not have to le atu. No, le fa si fa itau langa. Over a prayer, you know, if this prayer was very powerful and God granted according to exactly the words He said, I will decide to take this as part of my prayer. So le mela la mela le fa. When I go before the Lord, I mention all my children's name. And then I mention all my grandchildren's names. And, and then I say, Lord, bless us. Now, first of all, I say, Lord, I claim the protection of the blood of Jesus over all my family, my children, my grandchildren, my wife. And I would say, bless them, bless us. Bless us going and coming. Hallelujah, Lord. Because I know uh, 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 
are pronouncing, when I pronounce the blessing of God over my children, it will happen. The power of life and death is in your mouth. When you speak the blessing of God over your family, it will happen. I said, bless them. Enlarge our territory. Let your hand be resting upon us and keep us away from evil. Then I go to the church. And then I present all the families before God. It's interesting, la, because I'm doing it every day. And then I said, Lord, bless them. Every member of Hallelujah Worship Center. Enlarge their territory. Let your hand be resting upon them. Keep them away from evil, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I go to the senior pastors, their wives and their children of the worship center worldwide, the whole worldwide. Because I know that if this prayer was answered, exactly the words he said, then I know exactly the words he said, I can say exactly the words Jabez said, I know that God will grant the same prayer. I will encourage the church, go, go home and practice it. I will listen to I the talo mo lau fanga ngai mo inyang alolo yeto oy ngo tamit wa if you come up ah oy nga fa ingwa wangalo wa we fa pele ako eh poka ako we fa lungo ako le oy mar koru masi nga kaluan if you do it if you literally do it every day you will remember amen e o vo le talo le le tapen ako prea if you practice the tapenako prayer, you'll never forget it. You will always remember how to go from one path to another. Until you finally arrive at the mercy seat. Believe me, your life will change. Hallelujah, Lord. So, I'm going to bless you. Amen. 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 What a very powerful prayer if you practice it. Hallelujah, Lord. The talo ya oye ya te oye. Koke long out, God. Ke le yishi te talo le to no duspa ya. I have decided to take those prayers. Another prayer is in Ephesians chapter 1. Ole te talo nga. I actually, ole te talo nga nga mafuwa no te talo le te talo nga. Because there was something that the Lord urged me to pray for my son. And so I took that prayer and I take out the you and I put the name of my son there. So every day I was praying for my son, mentioning the name, asking God to do something. I know la upunga because of upo la fiyong pa iya letua. Lefa matala tu spa iya. My word will never return void. It shall establish and accomplish what my word says. Amen. For God in heaven is ready to perform my word. And doing that, I'm not a religious man, and I don't want to be a religious person. I just want to be real with God. When I pray, I don't want to muck around in my prayers. Okay, it's, it's nonsense. But it's like I'm praying to a God that is far too remote. Mama, No, when you pray, you are talking to your daddy. Inside you, above you, beside you, behind you, in front of you. Amen. 
Let's all stand. Kafia, I wish that people would understand that God is not a is not some sort of a person who is far too remote somewhere. I want people to understand that God is with us. It's really here with us. I want to talk to him and I want to ask him, bless me, Lord, because I want to be blessed. So that if I make a look at my car, look at what I have. No. It's not going to happen. But if you want God to bless you so that you can become a blessing to many, that will be answered. Church, why don't you lift up your hands? Forget that, but for you, would you lift up your hands and pray Jabez's prayer? And I will encourage you to go home and pray all the time. I will sing this song. I am surrounded by your peace. Hallelujah, Jesus. I am surrounded by peace. Lift up your hands to the Lord tonight. Realizing your all that I need. I come to you, Holy God, placing my shame at the foot of your cross. I don't want to be the same, but Lord, I'm crying out your name. I surrender. to lift up your hands and and pray the prayer of chambers lord bless me enlarge my territory let your hand be resting upon my life and keep me away from evil hallelujah jesus i tell you if you pray that prayer every day something amazing will begin to happen in your life 
just as the law granted the prayer of Jabez, the same thing will happen to us. It will happen to you because those are the actual words of the prayer. And according to the Bible, the Lord granted the prayer of Jabez. Do with a good motive and good intention. Pray that the Lord will use your life. Pray that God will impact many other people by your life. Pray that you will become a blessing to many other people. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. King of glory. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. If you are locked in the past, if you cannot get out of your past, what an amazing prayer, the prayer to pray. Why don't you ask the Lord, just like Jabez, he was locked in the past. His mother called him, uh, his mother called him pain. But his prayer changed his situation. He went from being a pain to being a blessing to many. God granted the prayer of his heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's sing that song and lift up your hand and say, Lord, I want to pray that prayer and that prayer. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. So let's start right just want to be
don't have to you don't have to be locked in your past the Lord God has promised all these blessings and all you need to do is just lift up your hands to the Lord and say Lord bless me hallelujah Jesus enlarge my territory let your hand be resting upon me keep me away from evil hallelujah Jesus continue on let's sing it again hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Father So we'll sing hallelujah until you come again. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. We will sing hallelujah until you come again. Thank you, Jesus. In your presence until you come again. We will sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah till you come again. And we'll dance in your presence. Yes, we'll dance in your presence, in your presence till you come again. God, we're waiting for you. We will sing hallelujah. Come
Yeshua. The Holy Spirit is right here. You cannot go home without being touched by the Holy Spirit. You cannot go home without being touched by the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands to the Lord tonight. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and receive now. Now the mighty name of Jesus. Touch your people. Touch your people now. Touch your people now. Touch them now in the name of Jesus. Fire! Fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. Oh, the fire of the Holy We bless you, Lord, for you are God and God alone. There's no other God like you. You are the most glorious Father. There's none like you. You are the only true God. And for that, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, you are good. Father, you are good. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lift up your hands and the many things that you will do. Father, I am grateful for your grace. Your brand new mercy is acting every day. When I think of all that you have done, and the many things that you will do. Why should I withhold my praise, my praise? Only it is there, my praise, my praise. Why should I withhold my praise, my praise? Only it is there, my praise, my praise. 
Oh, ya tu ya tu oil vi inga. Ya tu oil vi inga le fama nu ma le fana eta. We bless you Jesus. We give you all the glory and honor. We thank you dear Holy Spirit for what you are doing. May the name of Jesus be glorified. Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah Lord. And God's people will shout. Amen. One, two, three. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen.